वेलकम टू माई साइट कोर डायरीज यूर गो टू चैनल फॉर ऑल द थिंग्स इन साइट कोर यूर अल्टीमेट गाइड टू डिजिटल एक्सपीरियंस एक्सेलेंस दिस इज द वीडियो फ्रॉम क्विक टेक बाइट सो दिस इज द सीरीज विच वी हैव एवरी फ्राइडे वी हैव अ वीडियो वेर वी ट्राई टू आंसर फ्यू इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वी हैव डन इट फॉर फॉर फ्यू डॉट नेट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वी आर प्लानिंग टू डू अदर अदर टेक्नोलॉजीज ऑल्सो सो दिस इज द न्यू वीडियो फ्रॉम क्यू टेक बाइट्स ओके सो हु आई एम आई एम जितेंद्र घानेकर आई एम एन साइट को टेक्नोलॉजी एम वी पी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर आई एम ए have given all my uh, social media handles on the screen you can uh, you can have a look on those and you can follow me on those my social media accounts if you have any question which you want to cover in this series or you want to have any detail fill you please email me or uh, comment on this videos comment section okay so let's start today's question so what we are going to answer today let's see how you will handle api versioning in a large scale enterprise application using a dotnet so if you are developing the apis in your project so if you have a multiple you have a what multiple versions of those api so how will you handle so that your it will have a backward compatibility or compatibility also so what are the ways you can handle the api version so the first method is the url path version the most common approach is adding the version number to the api url you must have seen this so any your api which have a multiple version you can add the version itself in the url like api slash v1 slash product so that kind of a way that is called as the url path version the second approach will be query string version so here another option is passing the version in the query string so you can add the uh, add the uh, api version in the query string so these are the two very cleaner approach where you will have a minimum work to do both from both the side uh, from the api side also and from the client side also then you have a third method which is little bit of complex which is called as a http header versioning http header version you can include the version in the request header itself so api version you need to include in the request header this method decouples a versioning from the uri but it requires a more efforts for clients to manage the header and tooling support might be more complex so it little bit of complex you need to manage the header also so this is another cleaner approach where you can do http header versioning in the uh, header itself the fourth approach is a media type version it is also known as a contain negotiation the version is specified in the except header so except header you can specify the version and this is useful for evolving api format but it can be a complex to implement and manage so you have http header versioning and media type versioning both are bit complex one you have a uri path versioning and query string versioning which is simpler one and then you have the fifth one that is implementation in asp.net core so if you are using asp.net core they can then you can utilize the package microsoft.asp.net core.mvc.versioning package which will help you to define a multiple versions of a controller so say multiple version of a controller so you can define or action using the attribute like api version or a map to api version so those kind of attribute you can utilize to have the multiple versions of the api so it also support both url and header based version so to summarize how how you will handle the api versioning in a large scale enterprise application using dotnet the first method is a url path versioning the second method will be query string uh, versioning third is the http header versioning fourth is a media time versioning or you can call it as a content negotiation and the last one is the if you are implementing the asp.net core the api your technology is asp.net core then you can utilize the asp.net core functionality by using the package microsoft dot asp dot net core dot mvc versioning package so this is this is how you can do a api version so if you like this video please click on a like button to share this video with uh, with uh, your friends and colleague who are preparing for the dot uh, net interviews until now if you are not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to the channel and click on a notification bell to get latest update thank you thanks for watching